Welcome to Word Up. This week it's even better than usual. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to another episode of Word Up with the beautiful Becky and Connor from the Show Some Love podcast. Can I just say, if you haven't checked out the Show Some Love podcast, please do. It is Fucking brilliant. You can search Show Some Love Live on all your platforms. Uh-huh. There's a really um, good episode coming up, isn't there? We'll, yes. not, we'll not give it away, but mm-hmm. there's there's a fantastic episode that, do you know what? They're going to show me up. <laughs> show not Some Love. Our pod mother. No. Oh, I know. And, the pod mother like becomes the, the pod child. And the pod father as well, which is mm-hmm. Sean. I'm actually, I'm distracted <laughs> by Sean eating a bun behind the camera. Sean, Sean would say hello, but he's got a mouthful of uh, caramel square at the moment. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> a mouthful of Fanny, that's disgusting. That, that's what he Absolutely named his caramel Megan. square before he had it. I know. That, it, <laughs> that is it. Isn't no. it? Wow. My, in fact, while we're on this subject of Fanny. Yes. <laughs> we always get As there. As always, <laughs> always get there. Is there a word, because that's my sister's disgust word, like she can't stand that word. Oh, like moist. Fanny. Like moist. Yeah. She's moist fanny. She, she's become desensitised to it now, a bit like my fanny after three sections. <laughs> but um, <laughs> she, wow. she gets, yeah, you see what I did yeah. 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 She will literally, it, you, she, it would be like an electric shock, yeah. you know, if I would say it, she'd go, and I'm not even allowed to mention her name. I because think Fanny's she, a lovely word. It's a great it's word. It's quite a soft word. But she it's quite a soft hates word. it. And do you know what she actually yeah. said to me before? Whenever I, because I would go to her, here. And she'd go, what is it? And I would go, gives a wee feel of your Fanny. Right? <laughs> I don't know why. And it's just, and then my elder sister started getting in on it. She'd be like, gives a wee feel of your Fanny. You know, um, <laughs> lovely ladies, lovely ladies we are. But she said to me before, would you stop saying the V word? <laughs> And I was like, the V word was the V word, yeah. and she went the V the V word, and I went, definitely not a fucking academic here. <laughs> um, the V, but she and she was saying it with a soft V. Yeah, that it's in, that's in that's a difference in West Belfast. It's Vanny. Vanny. Yes, she was I have this. never heard. There's a difference between because I grew up with the word vanny, mm. so it's a it's a it is a cross community thing, ah. not to out ourselves again. We I'm have I have him. never talked about being a Protestant ever in my life, but ever since you fucking outed us, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very sectarian Paul. Yeah, I'll be walking up the Andertown Road, and I'll think to myself, half oh, these fucking cunts know I'm, proud, I'm a Protestant. I'm a Protestant. <laughs> well, word. Um, yeah. But no, so it, it is a cross community thing because I grew up with the word vanny, so V A N. And why? why? Yeah. So it, I, I, I do think there's a difference though between Fanny, right, mm-hmm. and Vanny. Yeah. Vanny. Vanny. Oh. There is a bit of a turn to Vanny. Yeah. Fanny <laughs> is, is light. Long, yeah, and that's a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've only ever seen one. Yeah. yeah. Just, just one. Yeah. Just, just one. the one. Uh, yeah. But do you think there's like, <laughs> like it's not as it's not as bad? I've seen a few cunts like yeah. Oh many. There are many cunts. Every day, every day. I think Fanny is a wee bit nicer. It's I think there would be I think there would be yeah. a community out there that wouldn't maybe appreciate the word Fanny or just Vanny or anything. They would yeah. want a, an old vulva. A yeah. Wee, you know, we would want to sort of vulva. be a bit yeah. more Vul- descriptive and scientific about how we speak mm. about our mm. our, yeah. uh, our lady. Bits. Your wee lady, your wee woman. Your wee wo- your wee woman. Your wee what do you call yours? Uh, I would just have gone with Fanny, I think. See, I say Fanny. I asked this question on Facebook before. In fact, I must take <laughs> the time to look up. Doot, you call it doot. doot. I love That's it. That's a word doot. Belfast best word. It is. Say. And also, if somebody's particularly naughty, they're going to get a boot in the doot. Yes. Oh, a boot exactly. in the doot. You need yeah. a boot in the doot. I love a fifth. Yeah. Oh, I, I love a fifth. <laughs> Yeah. Now, now, now to put those together a really cool word to describe techno music the doof that's a doof that's a doof do you know I, I an ex-boyfriend of mine whenever you describe he was talking about how he played this was probably this was mm-hmm, played the fiddle played the drum um, never incidentally made me come um, he, but he, he was saying he was talking about how he played the drum and I was like drum singular or drum and he went I went because I thought drummer I like drummers baby and I went oh you play the drums and he went no drum and I went oh like one of those diggy diggy drums right yeah. <laughs> 
And that became like a joke for the entire time that we were together because his mates would even go with us, diggy diggy Bruna, diggy diggy. And I went, you know what I mean? Like, diggy diggy dun, diggy diggy dun, diggy diggy. Yeah. Yeah. Incidentally, it wasn't in an Orange Order band, it was. Um, it like was, a hand drum? Was it no, a it was, it was paradiddles, it was a snare drum. Because oh. there is, it, he played a snare drums drum. is the set, yeah. but a drum is like, you know, the Protestant me is coming out here, yeah. but it's like a big lamb bag drum. That's a, a drum. So you, if someone mm. was telling me they played the drum, I'd be like, yeah. are you one of them ones? But if yeah. somebody, this is my like uh, hippie and rave circle thing, because if somebody said to me that they played a drum or that they, oh, they used a drum, I'm thinking of like drum circles. Yeah, like, drum I, circles. Yeah. Or yes. the drummer used to in a way like, traditional folk bands you know and he's playing like a boron or something yes. do you know yes. why I always I like there's always a moron with a boron I always I, I love I love the vibe of a drumming circle I've always tried to, I've always thought that it could be that person I, I don't think I'm sort of rhythmic in that way there's mm-hmm. something I sort of get in my, my I can dance and I can do the thing but I get, get in my head when I'm drumming you know I'm yeah. like oh am I doing it well and what's the crack and all the rest funnily enough there was in we were in um, you know that old bank building in Castle, no, what do you call it? Royal Avenue? Two Royal Avenue. Two oh, Royal two Avenue, Avenue yes. yes. That's the specific one. And there was a drum circle. And all I could think was, I would love to sit down and do that drum circle. But I think I would be in my head. Because whenever I was mm-hmm. drinking, fuck, I thought I was fucking... I, I, you do better cushion champion. Played, <laughs> played the triangle in a reggae band, you know. Yeah. I just That's stand cool. at the back and ting. <laughs> Wow. As a joke. Wow. Are you are you you're just trying to get us cancelled? Yeah. Um <laughs> Well never you back at the Mila. I know. Here, to- Show talking, of, talking of drum circles in the Mila though. Uh, Mike Ditchfield did we, one this year. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. So it was it was it was wonderful when you were there, but we were we were at this stage, we were doing a uh, fashion catwalk with like uh, we'd work with a load of uh, youth groups uh, throughout the summer and then we made these outfits That's that amazing. we put onto the stage with some professional models some, some of the kids walked mm-hmm. it was a mad day yeah, kids right. were having fits some of them were booking in bushes like it was yeah. it was a lot they said <laughs> do not work like, with um, yeah like a lyric from some fucking mad reggae music. It was, Kids were having fits and were poking in bushes. Yeah. It was. It, it was actually. It was very True. smooth. It, from looking from the other side, it was very smooth. It was a lovely show, and mm-hmm. the feedback was great. But we were in between. Um, we had Russians, Estonians, we had <laughs> Romanians. We were sort of in the middle of this of this uh, group of tents, and then uh, alongside all of that music, we which was wonderful and lovely. Sounds um, intense. We, it was yeah. really intense. Along, <laughs> alongside that was um, was the drumming circle. <gasps> See, by the end of the day, I think that's actually what maybe set a lot of the kids off. Yeah, I uh, think so. Kids that maybe um, you know go to youth groups and need that kind of support or, or part of programs yeah. um, mm-hmm. that, that provide that. And um, I think they were really overstimulated. You're you're good in environments like that. You can kind of hold your shit together. But yeah. I, at one point, you had to give me sort of like a bit of a pep talk around the back of a tent smoking a fag. Yeah. I was like, smoke, I, I would say like a hairdresser smoke. I would like smoke the whole cigarette in one. Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> Patty and Selma. Yeah. Very bad. Yeah. But I remember you saying like, Connor, like you are, like I'm working behind the scenes here. You're front of scenes. You really, like you need to um, at least project strength for these kids. You can't let them know that you're yeah. actually Becky, falling you apart. Becky, like, get them and go. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Yeah, it was very bad. <laughs> she I was like, I think, I'm, I think yeah. I'm also having a panic attack. And she was like, no, you're You don't have time not. for a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. Not today. You were on stage 20 minutes yeah. ago. You, you yeah. just go and, go and do yeah, it. I'm just, have, we'll schedule you in for a panic attack at about 10 past one in yeah. the morning. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> but exactly. The, I've just had to like completely reorder the running order because uh-huh. this person can't walk, this person can't walk, that person doesn't fit that outfit. Oh, I'm like shit. trying to do this all live without Wi-Fi, trying to then project the information onto the iPad that Connor's using to describe who I, was, coming out. I was taking pictures for the Ulster Tatler. We were <laughs> oh, doing run throughs. We were, um, you know, setting the stage up. Mm-hmm. Went for a wee wander at one point, just to look and take wee pictures first. Yeah. Show, you know, yeah. Becky's like, are you busy? And I was like, literally floored. Oh my god, like, floored! I haven't can't, stopped. Can't do it. Do you know? I, I, there, I think there's one of those in every relationship. Like in my relationship, I am very much the butterfly in terms of not like social butterflies and I can't stick to one thing for long enough I go boop 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 like we were in mm-hmm. M&M World in London and the Kirk, real Slim Shady <laughs> do you know why sorry incidentally went to M&M World in Harry Potter um, studios and we were watching Harry Potter actually with the child the other day and that line from the very first movie was when the snake gets out 
Um, but he's talking to the snake and he mm-hmm. doesn't realise that he's speaking partial tongue and he says to the snake, you're from Burma? And the snake points to the sign and it's like bread in captivity and he goes, oh, that's what I'm like. I never knew my parents either. And I paused it and went, my dad used to always cheat on my mom and beat her. Right? And my kids are looking at me like... What the fuck? <laughs> and Curtis was actually like, you need to stop that. Do you know what I mean? This is, this is Harry Potter. Love yeah. and joy. Yeah. But it was like, I never knew my parents either. But my dad used to always cheat on my mom and beat her, right? <laughs> but yes, we were in, it, that, this is what he used to put up with. Whenever we were in Eminem World, my favourite photograph of Curtis is Eminem World London when he realised that he had the four children and I was off um, getting loads of M&Ms and organising them. <laughs> I'm sort of oh, imagining you like, in like a bath of M&Ms. Yeah, I was just, just like I just got carried away story. because I was like, look, you can, you can organise them in your own colours. I can do the Irish flag. Like the sand. <laughs> right. Like the sand Yes, like things. the sand. Yes. So I was going green. <laughs> Wait. The most expensive m and Ivory Coast, man. right? Yeah. And I was just like, right, this is class. <laughs> and there's a photograph that happened to be snapped. It was Jess, his sister, must have taken it. And he, it is, can I actually, if I send you the photo, will you put it up? <laughs> he will hate this. <laughs> but you can see the look of sheer tension and stress. On his face, he's, just, he's like this. What he's, realized, what? he's the grown up in the room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it's supposed to be we're a family on holiday, and he just looks like he it's wants like, to fucking kill you dead things. Fun kids. Yeah, <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Uh, and it's all because of me. I think your mummy's gonna be a bit too much sugar. Yeah. Stop eating the M and M's. They're fifty p each. That's it. I know. I know. I was just like, listen, I'm gonna, and these ones are crispy, and these ones are are peanuts, and these ones are just chocolate. And he was like. Good fucking it. <laughs> We're going to Harry Potter World now. Yeah, <laughs> this is about no Harry Potter World for you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it would have been easier if I wasn't there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I <laughs> I went missing and left the baby in a pram, like just sitting in the middle of M and M world. Aww. So yes, there But there is always one. Yes, yeah, but everybody Becky, takes you are role. you're Connors Curtis. I thought you were going to say Kara Kara, there. same, <laughs> same. And sometimes, sometimes but no, we, we sort of in and out on those roles, yeah. I think, because there are yeah. times whenever, like, I have to either, like, hide myself away to go and get, get other type of stuff done, yeah. or there's times when I'm like, do you know what? I'm getting blocked tonight. Yes. I realise it's the first time ever, and I'm like 43, <laughs> And I've been married. I've had, I've sort of was like a serial monogamous. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever actually felt like a sense of equality in a relationship. Wow. Like I know that I can like, like not have to do everything yeah. basically, you know, which I think is kind of that's a thing liberating. with, with that's, women. Do you know that is, that dawned on me actually whenever I got out of a relationship before. I remember thinking, um, wow. Um, mm-hmm. Now that I'm not in this relationship anymore, my life is actually easier. Yeah. Yes. Totally. Um, and then whenever you get with someone who does, like, takes off half of the burden, mm-hmm. you realise, you go, oh, they're supposed to make yourself, make your life easier, not twice yeah. as hard. You don't yeah. work for them. Mm. Yeah. 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 Do you know like, what I mean? People, like, like, people will, you know, particularly men will talk about, like, what, you know, oh, I'm babysitting tonight. And mm-hmm. it's like, no, no. No. You're parenting. Don't you fucking <laughs> dare. You take notes. Sean, you know, okay, this is all yeah. stuff this for is, the future. Yes. People this have is. said that to me before. In fact, it tends to be older generation yeah. of men. Like, when they go... Uh, where's the husband the night is he not and I go oh he's at home with the kids and I go oh is he babysitting I go uh-huh. no he's fucking not yeah. he's looking after his, his children yeah yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. he's parenting uh, his crotch fruits yeah. aren't you lucky that you get his to have a fruits. life and do things and it's like well how many of the yeah. male comedians have get that absolutely and, you know it's and, just like an expectation do you know what it is too like now that whenever you're working and you've got kids you go to yourself it's like in a lot of there I read an academic article before that said that in in obtaining the vote, women actually gave up some of their freedoms. Uh-huh. Now, this is up for debate. Mm-hmm. But the argument, interestingly enough, was that by gaining the vote, right, now women can't say, Oh, but we didn't vote for that, so we're in an oppressive society. Mm-hmm. Yes. So now by putting our stamp of approval and voting for something, we're like, okay, well we've agreed to be in this. Mm-hmm. And then whenever a woman like we yes, we, we we can go out to work and we can do all this shit. 
but we're also expected to still do all the other shit. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, so there's women out there that are going and holding down a job and doing everything else, but then they're coming home and they're fucking doing the washing and they're getting the dinner done. And uh-huh. doing, do yeah. you know what I mean? It's the mental load as well. That was one of the yeah. things that en- eventually ended my marriage. Well, apart from Connor, mm. but. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. in the divorce proceedings not shout not, out to the ex-husband yeah not based on I truth. didn't know that you were married we only, yeah. we only started riding a couple of years ago yeah. and it was many years before that we were friends and yeah. I was having a mental breakdown yes, get to exactly. fucking that, so. and exactly. he, was but he, he jealous was very jealous yeah, yeah. Uh, but but he like both of us would be earning big salaries had a big house the thing I would be still at work like and I was running mm-hmm. uh, like a business across three sites one in Belfast, two in England, had 28 employees. Mm. And I'd be still in work at seven o'clock because I needed that time after the team went home to just kind of catch up on mm. stuff. Mm. And I would get a message at seven o'clock to say, any thoughts on dinner? Ugh. And he'd been home since five o'clock because he was working for somebody else. Yeah. He was able to, and it was just like, hang on a wee second, is this my life? Yeah. You know, and then like, we want to add kids into this. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, hang on a second. That is not like, yeah. I can't do that. And I don't necessarily see this changing without a lot of conversations. And he was not there for the conversations. Wow. He would rather have just sort of, as I say, blamed Connor. Connor was there. Yeah. I but I think he also saw yeah. me being really happy once yes. Connor and I started to work together. And he was like, whoa, I've maybe not seen that version of me before. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? But yeah, that was really difficult. Like that maybe. Yeah. You know, yeah. to see you've changed. Do you know whenever people say yes. that to you? You've changed. Yeah. You go, thank yeah. fuck. Yeah. Or exactly. it's that kind of idea of like you don't know that person. Mm. You know, you don't know their new version of themselves, and I don't approve because it makes mm. me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Maybe that's what needs to happen. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then from your from your discomfort, you should uh maybe reassess, mm-hmm. maybe change yourself and maybe grow. Yeah. When you find like some somebody or something that's good for you, you'll always see this the real side of somebody who's mm-hmm. insecure about you finding out that they're bad for you. Or, yeah. yeah. You know? It's whenever you get some self-esteem and then you realise, actually, I don't think you should treat me like that. Yeah. And they're mm-hmm. like, you've fucking changed. Yeah, exactly. We, yeah. Yeah. I actually them. don't hate myself anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now I have boundaries. <laughs> yeah. 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 We've it's noticed great. a marked difference in how you treat us since... Um, since Sean met us, yeah. since Sean let me um, met us, we can feel it. There's, sort of, there's an underlying yeah. kind of Let's, um, yeah. tension. Let's, yeah. Is there a tension? I can feel Ooh. it. Yeah, that we've sort of stolen him away. Yeah, oh, fuck off. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No in way. fact, that's not, that's not what I said. It's Sean noticed it, didn't you, Sean? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, we were really having yeah, a lengthy talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> the heck is that why my ears were burning the other yes, day? Yes. I was just thinking it was the syphilis. Somebody walked over my grave. Yeah, ear we syphilis. Somebody <laughs> walked for ear syphilis. <laughs> Jokes aside, we're very happy to have Sean. I, I love that. Yes. So Do you know, lovely. I actually feel that um, for those of you who don't know, Sean now produces Becky and Connor's mm-hmm. podcast, yes. which is why it's fucking fabulous. So you should definitely check it out. But I love it because I'm like, I feel like I got to have my mates in here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Totally. I'm like, I, I brought in people that like, we, uh, I really like. We had a, an idea, um, Bruna. We haven't even told you yet. Okay. But right, so for anybody to break the fourth wall, like literally the wall behind. On the other side the of this. Where around the corner. Yeah, literally on the <laughs> other side of this set is back in Connor's set. So we thought um, what we could do is we could install like a wee letterbox on a wee each side. A wee box, yes, we talked and about this on the podcast. Was it on your own? Oh, yes, did we all yes, talk about it together? Yes, oh. yes. And then we and can have, have like a whole yes. Just <laughs> yes, leave fucking... something for each other each week. Yeah. Yes, there's actually, a... do you know what? I love that. We're going we to totally do it. We should do there's that. There's a podcast Let's that we it. listen to and watch on YouTube called Very Delta. Yes. Uh, we've talked about it before. She's so funny. She's a drag queen. She's called Delta Work and it's part of the Mom series. Really wonderful podcast. Mm-hmm. But she often has this, um, so uh, her background is red, like these lovely red curtains, mm-hmm. but often she has this man in like a morph <laughs> suit, <laughs> in like a red morph suit and you, no. can sort of, you can just sort of see his cock. It's kind of just right there. Stop it, that's he's not, even, yeah. he's not even tucked. But he's it's meant just like to, bunch. yeah, oh, but really? he's meant to, he sort of, the idea is that he's blended into the background. He doesn't actually do anything, but often he just sort of stands Stands behind the Looking guests, creepy. like something like that. If, no if I had way. the little glory hole, maybe right, we could just have a mouth. Whenever you you can see his cock. Does he actually have his welly out? No, you can see it. Like you it's can see the circumcised. Oh, but you can, but you can see, see the shape. It's there. Yeah, you packet. know, it's sort of it's grey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's grey uh, sweatpants season. You yeah. know, it's that it's oh. that kind of a feeling. Yeah. I, yeah. Do you know what? Can I just say that I absolutely I have a wee thing about guys wearing 
Smith clothes. I told right. you you're a gay man in a woman's body. Yeah. Swear to God. I've told you before I and am. I'll tell you again. That's 90% of gays. Yeah. I, yeah. Is it? Yeah. I'm just, I am, I'm a gay man. Yeah. I yeah. do think I am a gay man. Yeah. I just, see, see whenever you see, I bought Curtis this um, tracksuit out of Jack Jones, right? Uh-huh. Thinking, mm, get him in a wee bit of a road man. Like, is it, you know? Yeah. And, because uh, <laughs> he's a jeans kind of guy and yeah. I was like, I want something soft that I can squish. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I got him it, and I was like, I saw him in it, and I was going, oh, fuck, I do things doing that after I get a good night's sleep. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, and he turned around to me the other day, Now he's been wearing it for a year, like, on and off, you know, when you put it on, like, during, the, like, a Saturday with the kids, and I'll go, oh, holding them kids' hands and all, telling me to go up and have a yes. nap, fucking, yes, right, yes. get my niggers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just love, you know, I just appreciate it. I'm seeing it right here, I'm salivating. Aww. But he goes to me the other day, he goes, See, if I tell you something, do you promise that you won't get upset at me? And I was like... God. Red flag. Oh, God. <laughs> Not about him. <laughs> Give me something to bite down on. Yeah. Like, yeah. what is it? And he went, to promise, though, just... just uh, it's really important to me that you don't get upset. Okay. And I was like, just spit it out. What is it? And he went, I really don't like that tracksuit. And I was Aww. like, you have been wearing it for a year now? And he was like, I know, you but it's because it. you bought me it. And I oh, love what it. A sweet and I was like, well, what is it you don't like about it? And he went, it's too small. And I went, oh, fuck, that's great, because I'm just going to get you a bigger one now. Yeah, he was exactly. like, no, but it's just like, it's not like... It's a... skin tight for a reason. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I was like... I want to see your That's not for you. Yeah, it's for, yeah, it's for, for me. <laughs> Can we get a picture of Curtis? Can we just get sort of his crotch? Can we get a, a wee photo? <laughs> in fact, I, I, I think I have a naked photograph of him. I went into the shower one day, and I was just like, snap. And he went... What are you doing? <laughs> like, if I was a man, I would yeah. be I'm doing very, <laughs> very in jail. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I did. And he was just dangling, and I just took a photograph. I was like, <laughs> and he went, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, taking a wee photograph of, yeah, just for the wank bank, you know? And he was like, delete that. And I was like, no. It's like, you could actually just have sex with me. Yeah. We could just make another yeah, baby. we could just do that. But no, you're too busy taking pictures off my deck and going and having a wank over it. That's the problem. <laughs> we make too many babies. We have too many children. So well, come on, you can like, use a condom. Uh, you know. Yeah. You know the way your mom would go to you? I'd rather, I'd rather keep your picture. Mm-hmm. You know, because they'd be cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Rather keep your picture, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> or whenever my kids go around your house, fuck, I'd rather keep their picture. Now you go, well, you have there's a school photograph, now give us the monkeys. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, but yeah, I just got rather, I'd rather keep your picture, your, your dicture. When you say give us the munchies, is that how you, how you um, visualise going into like a family member's house? Is there certain family members, like if you go to your mummy's house, does she have like a, a good, yeah, like a great fridge, lovely yeah. cheese, she'll have like a good biscuit cupboard, does she have a, a sweetie drawer? We were talking about this the other day because Sean was saying about how um, if you, if you eat, like say his ma was to buy a certain type of biscuit and you eat it all, she'll assume that you love it and buy millions of it. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. So totally. I never grew up in one of those houses right in fact I was telling Sean about the time we were sitting in my ex-boyfriend's house my brother was there we had partaken in some um s- smoking and uh I was I was a bit Shout stoned the at the time <laughs> this was many years ago so it's like uh, what do you call that the um statute of limitations oh yes, yes. Have you. medicinal purposes only um <laughs> So I, I was sitting there and um, our Adam was sitting there and my ex was there and we had hit the munchies and I went, go and grab us a couple of those wee mini Esta. I used to buy millions of like chocolate. You know when it, before it was like cheap to buy the multi pack. Yeah. yeah. All these little mini Mars bars and I went, oh, and our Adam went, fuck, it's brilliant the way you use millions of those in your house. like. And my ex said, well, my dad, like, he does this. See if you eat something that he brings in and you eat it all up he, he just thinks you love it so he buys it again and again uh-huh. and again yeah. and her Adam was sitting there and he went my ma's the opposite see if she brings something in and you eat it all up she calls you a greedy bastard and she never <laughs> buys it again yeah. but I didn't see like <laughs> because of the mental state I was in it must have been about a half an hour later that I went <laughs> <laughs> our ma really does do that and they looked at me like what and I went 
She never buys anything of you at all. If she calls you a greedy cunt, she never buys it again. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, my mom would hide stuff clandestine. Like, oh, yeah. you know, the snicker, you, like, you know, the good stuff, like, for Christmas, don't fucking touch that. Yeah. Yes. That's for Christmas. Don't yeah. you yeah. drink but there a was, fucking slur. There was yeah. a way, <laughs> I got that on offer. There was a way to take <laughs> the stuff. You can take the stuff, you can re kind of package it to get a, Hi, my name's Connor and I have an eating disorder. Yeah. But uh, you can you can take the stuff apart, you can repackage it together, and then when it comes to Christmas Day, whenever there's guests, whenever you like you don't mm-hmm. you know, you'll be a cunt behind the scenes, but whenever people are in, you know, you you yeah. put your sort put of best fit forward mm-hmm. and you're getting like your branded whatever. Yeah. You know, that they're actually um penguins. Yeah. You know, are yeah. there we it's funny, we've talked about this and it's never I been want shown. you to show it's I lost. want you to tell me this because this has been living rent free in my head for a week, right? <laughs> I was thinking about I I mentioned on um it's a it's a cut part so you might get it in their and Patreon. Show some love okay. life. Sh- uh, Sean might um, send it to us. But someday. there was a little part where I was talking about whenever you were a kid and you would go into somebody's house, you know, and the, you'd get offered a biscuit. Like I would only ever take a cup of tea because you got a biscuit with it. Do you yes. know what I mean? But you had then said you weren't allowed to take a biscuit. Yeah, you, you weren't. You weren't allowed to take a biscuit. There's a whole host of rules. My parents were sort of very. Um, I now describe them as like aspiring middle class, mm-hmm. this like working class people that are like determined to show the world that they're anything else mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. And it was all kind of, it was all, it was, it was, we were showbiz, you mm-hmm. know. So we would go to someone's house. You weren't allowed to, um, even things like, we weren't allowed, I love, uh, years ago, um, I would have loved, is it called veggie roll or vegetable roll? Oh, uh, yeah. It's like yeah. this sort of stuff you get in the I haven't seen that in just, years. Yeah. But it's like, it's uh, all the crap kind of stuff together in a big sausage. The tears with and the, ball bags. Mm-hmm. It is, it's really tasty, that stuff. Yeah, my yeah. dad loved it. I well. love it. Uh, but you weren't allowed to say that. You weren't allowed to say mm-hmm. that the food that you had, you were only allowed to sort of... Um, you had allude. a nice chop. Yes, a nice yeah. chop, no salt, no seasoning. Yeah. Spuds that were boiled beyond their life. Like, yeah. I mean, I was, I am um, traumatised by food. Um, <laughs> but but the way you said to me, um, I would go in and I'd be like, no, I'm okay, I don't want your biscuits. I don't need them biscuits. We have we have branded biscuits. Yeah, in the house. very And that. I went, I actually still, I was tittering throughout the week thinking about that. You're not Like, allowed. you know, we actually yeah. don't. We don't. I, we have if anything, biscuits. too full of biscuits. There yeah. are. There yeah, are. Like, like I couldn't possibly eat one of your caramel wafers yeah. because we have actual Twixes in the yeah. house. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's, and we have the double ones. Sometimes the triples. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, it's, it's going into someone's house. You're not. You're actually. You're. you're the, most people. Most people's houses. Uh, you weren't allowed to take anything. I mean, it was really like illegal to say yes to something. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, like you were saying about your mummy or um, going into other people's houses like that there was always houses like my granny's house mm-hmm. where you go into your cupboards uh-huh. and she always had really good stuff yeah. and she would that my granny's that person if you take a something mm-hmm. a little uh snowball mm-hmm. she will the next time you're in have 10 packets of snowball she will go home with five mm-hmm. packets of them yeah. she'll give you a, she's you'd so like sweet. You're, you're even in like a very sweet way you'll be like oh i love that wee um cheesecake that's gorgeous and you have a wee bite it's just you're being polite you're already yes. Full of toffee crisps and whatever bunches made <laughs> yeah. and everything else. And uh, you have to take it home. Yeah. It's like, it's offensive if you don't. If like, you don't. You sort like, of go home fuck? with armfuls of just yeah. crap, like <laughs> sweating yeah. the sugar out of your eyes. <laughs> if it's just happy, you know. Yeah. You, you'll leave her house and she'll be happy because you're yeah. full and you've um, you've taken a few wee bits. My you know. granny had, in fact, do you know what we should, now that we're doing this, I'll tell you the word because it is in relation to oh, people. It is kind okay. of the point of the about. podcast. Oh, yeah. So, so in, <laughs> no, the word, of the week is Ooh. Nudist, 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 Last week, I committed a terrible, terrible faux pas. I am highly ashamed of my behaviour. I don't know why I'm doing it in an English accent. We're here because all of our politicians are bloody English. Yes. But I, last week, I did something which I'm not proud of. I, uh, and you've been heavily judged for I have ever been since. Heavily judged. Heavily judged. More so <laughs> than myself. Uh, what happened was. I accidentally, <laughs> while uh, 
under the, the anticipation of having Paddy Raff on the show, great show. I yeah. scrawled from memory the word that I wanted to talk about, which incidentally was spelled correctly in the fucking notes. Mm. And the word was mendacious. And um, <laughs> and I'm not being a bit mendacious when I tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, that I spelt it fucking wrong. I spelled it. It's only oh. human. Only human. Just all <laughs> subscribe if you want to. Tell your friends who have all unsubscribed well, that actually the apology has been done. I you know, can it's no longer. Media. I can no longer <laughs> hold my head. I am actually, whenever our. Who can our, you trust now, yeah, That's yeah. what it is. Well, you, well, not Sean to check your bloody words. <laughs> Sean also <laughs> spelled it wrong. Yeah. Sean trusted me. <laughs> well, we're actually now, we're broadcasting I'm, live from Scotland because <laughs> Bruno was so scundered. <laughs> Well, that she had to move. She yeah. was put out. It was that you know what it is? is? Who was it? What, who, who commented first? Uh, I'll find out. You found the name of that lovely person who commented underneath and a point, lovely person and pointed out my mistake. Because what I did was I read it, I responded, I called a taxi, I went straight to Belfast City Airport, I got on a fucking plane <laughs> and left the country. Because <laughs> I'm sure. Scundered for myself. Um, you, well, we're, we are scundered for you. Yeah. The ignominy, the ignominy that I felt, the public humiliation. That's a throwback to the episode with DDJ. Um, I am um, highly ashamed. So the, the, the comment was there was uh, Jenky Larson. Jenky Larson. 2869. Right. Oh my so God, that's stinky. That's stinky Jenky. <laughs> Is that? Stinky Jenky with a wee wanky. Don't, be, don't right. be listening to them. I was thinking that it was. Don't be listening to them. It was probably spelt right for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. I think you went to school till they were like seven. Yeah. It was a really nice but barbed <laughs> comment. It was like, love the podcast, Bruno. It was an open shit sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, you know, the, the way the compliment sandwich is supposed to be compliment shit. shit. <laughs> compliment. <laughs> it was just compliment shit. <laughs> I'd a wee bit more so, shit. Yeah. Oh, did you want another round of toast? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? No, this is an open shit sandwich. <laughs> right? You put, it, you put it under the grill for a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, here, fester for a little bit. Love the podcast, but it would be really nice if you could spell the word correctly. Oh, did they say they loved it? Yeah. Oh, so we'll Something say, we'll like just, that, it's was just it? stinky jinky now. No, we, no more wee wanky. No, no um, more wee With a big wanky. <laughs> Yeah, well, at least they were polite enough to with, say they loved with it. A big, I think you have a big winky because that was big dick energy to go, well, love the pod. No, but actually, I really did appreciate it because if they hadn't have written that, I probably wouldn't have even cottoned on because I'd have just been like, yeah, whatever. Well, but, after bitching the back of them, we're going to have to block them because yeah. our, our comment section <laughs> no, is going to be full of please, stinky junkies. If you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Patreon. Help me <laughs> help me to get my reconstructive surgery to change my fucking face. Yeah, you're not you know, going to the witness protection. Yeah. <laughs> just the, just the scundered look. Absolutely. Do you know, if my ma would make up her own words, she would say, that's pure scunderization. That is. Oh, I, well, love, I love those love. words. Yeah. That's yeah. scunderization. Or scunderation. 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 Yeah, we might have. Do you know that she first said it when the window cleaner left a note on the window to say that he wouldn't. Clean her back windows because the dog had shit in the garden. <laughs> oh my god! And I was like, I'm not even going to sit in your house anymore because I'm so embarrassed for you. <laughs> it's like, that's pure scandalization. Because I remember you talking about your um your daddy doing. We talked about this in the last podcast too. But your daddy doing a shit in the loo and about the you know does your shit does your perfume smell <laughs> like shit? Does your perfume smell like shit? But actually, as it turns out, it was your mummy, and and you didn't at the time say it was your mummy because you didn't want to scunder her. But now you're telling the world yeah. mm-hmm. that your ma's back garden's full of dog shit. <laughs> There's shit all over my man's back door. <laughs> In fairness, like, we can say nothing. We also have a dog. You can't go in my man's back door. You'll get shit all over you. Yeah. Wow. wow. You'll she never be back. Douche. You'll not. Wow. You'll. Whoa. You will never be back for that biscuit cupboard. I didn't even. I'm not even going to My man doesn't let me in her fucking biscuit. Give us your anyway. word. <laughs> Give us your word before you're cut out of the well. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't made one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nudie assertion. Nudie assertion. Nudie assertion. Right. Don't you cast nudie assertions on us. Oh, that's what <laughs> <laughs> You'll give our chain the fucking complex so you know. 
My, my granny used to say they'll give her astigmatism, and then I thought yes. that was whenever I was told that my son had astigmatism, I was like, but I haven't even said anything nasty to him. <laughs> and they were like, no, it's his eyes. And I was like, so don't fucking talk about his eyes, you'll give him astigmatism. No, he has so astigmatism. What do you call that? That's an acorn? Isn't that what they call that? Whenever, like, uh, oh no, that's what, whenever, like, somebody uses the wrong word or the wrong phrase for something, but it kind of it's fits. It's a malapropism. 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 Yes. Yeah, that yes. was a word on it. Yes. Bang! Right yes. in the kisser. <laughs> Give it a gold star for Sean <laughs> in that. I'm giving it to yeah. myself. So, this is actually a great Bang. word because what we have just done is. We would be talking about nudie astertion morning. Nudie astertion is the day before yesterday, right? Ooh. And I thought, not only is it a really unnecessary fucking word. Yes, what would you use that for? Like, you would say, I ordered this nudie astertion morning, but it arrived. No. It wasn't supposed to arrive for another week. Fuck off. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Hey, no. Uh, uh, no. Surplus to needs. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, not, but I thought this was really good. There's another word for the day before tomorrow as well, though, isn't is there? today the day before tomorrow? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Annie. We are my tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> the day before yesterday. Um, that's that's you a you like to <laughs> <laughs> So if anyone has, if nobody has My seen Sean, my kids are going to be orphans, aren't they? Because you're going to fucking kill me. Yeah. If nobody has seen Sean yet, um, we because uh, we um, like we were sending our podcast. We he can has, but he's keep been on. Sean's been on. But Sean has. We've actually seen Sean on a few podcasts. But um, if you're watching, if you're uh, one of our uh, viewers or, or listeners, yeah. Um, Sean, I would say looks it's more cornflour. Really like. Really, like almost the double of the, not the new Annie. Sean is Sean's <laughs> the original wife. orphan Annie, Annie. Annie. but That's the original a orphan. One. Shows your aunt Annie, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't heard Annie before. In it's fair. Fair. Sean no. has a much admired and much uh, oh, it's, complimented, it's like amazing hair. It's, it's her is yeah. too nice. Yeah, like it's the flick too is second sexy. to none. Yeah, I imagine he does that whenever he's on stage and he's playing his guitar. Oh, he, he does, does. A guitar flick. Oh, he yeah. does. I've I seen. Do. I've I, seen videos of you doing it. Do you? I, I do have that. With, but it's it's more so just like because it doesn't sit right. As soon as I start like putting my head down, like you it just it. comes <sighs> down. There. So I have to do that to get away. But then there's always like a gooby shot of like it mid. Thing and it's yeah. like a there's just, yeah. there's yeah, just some wee like girl slow mo great action some wee girl in the front row just fainting I love it but yeah but we uh, whenever Irish people <laughs> in general um, talk I think when we don't need this word because it's too precise because yes if we are talking we might say well you know I saw her nudie astertion evening and that could have been up to anything ten years ago. Do you yes. know the way we go, like, see the other day? Yes. Walking. Yeah. And then whenever somebody... It's, <laughs> it's happened to me where people have went, the other day you saw them? And I'm like, yeah. They're dead. They're dead, yeah. <laughs> and you go, no. no, well, it was about two years ago, to be fair. Yeah. You know, or I just saw him the other day and he's dead. Why did we do that? I said. Yeah. 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 Maybe it's a yeah. trauma overhang from yeah. like not wanting to let your whereabouts be known. Maybe it is. Or yeah. did Sean, uh, did, did, were you going to say something before we... Before we um, oh, well, I was just saying yeah. there's, like an old, like there's like an old English word for the day before you. Certainly that's like really useful. It's like very consistent. Oh, fuck. I'm going to look it up and Do get back look to this. It up. But Nicole does that thing as well where she says, like, I slag her about all times. She says, like, I see the other day when we went uh, the Skrillex and I was like, what, in 2014? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's not the other day, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Name. I just saw him the other day right enough so I did yeah that was uh, Connor does that but it's more like a time blindness thing like yeah. an ADHD thing mm-hmm. like where we were just talking about being on the one show a couple of weeks ago and uh, it, the reason was because it was uh, it, it was a memory that came up from like exactly one year previously yes and then you were like years ago we were on the thing yeah. and it's just like no no one year I you know that. but it's just like it all mixes it together life feels like a long time, yeah. either a long time or a short time. Yeah. If you're it's that, in the wrong it's, company, it's too long. Yes, <laughs> but uh, if you are like you are busy, you are booked and blessed and stressed. Mm-hmm. I imagine. Yeah, uh, you you don't stop, and you have got four kids, and you're doing your thing. You got this podcast. Don't know whether or not to shed or go blind. Mm-hmm. Very that we are also 
mad yes. busy. You're crazy uh, busy. But then, people. like, so so a year feels like fucking yeah. ten of them, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. or yeah. it could feel like or six like months. Or it flies, it flies past. Yeah. Yeah. But there, the time is. Um, it's not like a static thing in my brain. Yeah. You know, it could oh, be. Oh, yeah. I'm really bad that way too. That time blindness is a very much an ADHD thing, yeah. isn't mm-hmm. it? And like, I'll relate to something as to how I felt about it. So if it could have been last week and I'll go, fuck's sake, that was ages ago. Forget about it. Yes. You know, but, yeah. you're, but you're going to yourself. That's only because I want to forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, you'll go, fuck's sake, that was so long ago. I can't even remember it. And you're like, yeah, it was It was only last week that you spelt that wrong. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Or um, Connor will be wild for going like, Stinky oh, Winky. it'll take 20 minutes. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> At least two hours yeah. that job is. Yeah. Which happened whenever we were for my 40th birthday, we slapped on some backpacks and decided to go up the mornings and oh do a God, bit of camping. It was it was beautiful. But Connor's like, it takes about 20 minutes to get up to that bit of the mountain that we want to get to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would do that. Yeah. Well, I, said that I said that when we were at the bus station yeah. in right. Newcastle. So we got the bus up and we're going to go up the mountain. It was, it was really minutes. beautiful. 10 hours later. Well, we, yeah. Well, yeah. we got, we went from the bus station to halfway up Newcastle and it had been 20 Promenade. We stopped, yeah, <laughs> halfway up the promenade, and we stopped, and we had a smoke on the mm-hmm. steps. And I went, "How long has it been?" And Becky was, Becky was like, "That's the twenty minutes, Connor." Yeah. yeah, like we're not even, we're not even at the foot of the mountain. Oh my god! And you yeah. thought it was twenty minutes to yeah. get up yeah. the mountain? We had like uh, human weight on our back. We did bring oh a lot god. of stuff. We brought a lot of stuff. I love this, but that's an idealism as yes, well. You're yeah. like, he's an optimist. He he is. You know, yeah. twenty it was minutes. Easier. We actually yeah. got the whole way up. And then uh, realised that we didn't bring coffee. We really oh, needed to bring shit, coffee. Yeah. Or maybe it was the wrong, no oh. coffee and the wrong canister, the wrong uh, yeah. gas. Yeah. But it, it actually, it maybe took 20 minutes when we went down and then we were coming back up, we were fucking raging. Yeah. And we were like banging up this mountain. Maybe that took 20 minutes. Yeah. So we were banging no up bags. the mountain, were you? Yeah. Sure over, you were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Overlooking, overlooking the stars. Uh-huh. Looking out and watch the sun. Baby, banging up the mountain when he comes. It was amazing. <laughs> Anyone with, with binoculars down there, with a very high powered ones would have been able yeah. to see my well yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, if it, would you, in person or like from far away? Uh, well, probably. Um, it's very father Ted that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Both. I imagine maybe both. These maybe willies are small. <laughs> Damn, yeah, willies are far away. These are huge. Willies yeah. are very soon. <laughs> very. Do you know my ma's glasses? I put them on. I call them um, instant drunkness. Oh, yeah. Because yes, now that I don't drink anymore, sometimes I like to remind myself what it's like to be blocked and I just put my mask glasses on, right? And I'm like, ma, I could read a map that somebody's holding up in fucking Newcastle. Yeah. Like, with these glasses on, do you know what I mean? Like, you put the nana mascuri, big yeah. fucking eyes, do you know what I mean? Like, ma! Those and telescope glasses, you just tell you couldn't see the fucking shit in her garden. I'm <laughs> 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 I'm Gabe. really sorry. So I I'm love it. I'm going to make sure I'm going Yeah, then um, I'll take you. Yeah, I'll, I'll be bored. Should get rid of the dog. I, fu- I found uh, the, the oh, word. Did you find the word? What is the word? So it's not the one I was thinking of. The one I was thinking <laughs> of was The Day After Tomorrow, um, mm-hmm. which is a bad movie, but yes, it's a good terrible. word. It's Overmorrow. Overmorrow? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Over Sounds very morrow. English. I, and I think, That's I think very good, actually. I would use that, Overmorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, but the yester- the one before the day before yesterday is a ship one. It's air yesterday. Air yesterday. Oh. Just day. Oh. Air yesterday a, or nudie assertion. But over tomorrow's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right. Do, let's do this. I'm going to say nudie assertion, and you're going to say the day before yesterday, and let's see who says it quicker. Therefore, which yes. Is better, right. One, two, three. The day nudie before assertion. yesterday. Oof. I Did think about the same. About think the the same. I think you. Um, if we, if we might have to do. Uh, we we'll have to. Might, might have to roll the mm-hmm. tape. Yeah. But yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I love yeah. that we're aligned. Yeah. You know, our, our yeah. brains are connected. Um, but you finished. I think just slightly before Becky. Do you know what it's but like? Then, by the time you explain what new distortion is, yes, yeah. exactly. Because that's then followed by go, what? what way are you getting on? <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck she thinks she is? Swallow the dictionary. Uh-huh. It's yeah. like you know when uh, you know when the likes of CSI. You know, like in like American crime or whatever dramas, they do this thing and it's this trick to make people think that they're somehow now like actually partly qualified in crime scene investigation. Yes. And they do this thing where you'll notice that they'll say, oh, I can see a GSW. Oh, and everyone yeah. goes, I know what that means. Gun that means gunshot wound. wound. But it's like gunshot wound are three yeah. single syllable words. Oh. Yes. GSW is five syllables in Oh total. my God, so it takes so it's a long far longer. So GSW. nobody would ever say that in real life. They'll just say, oh, it's gunshot wound. You know what I mean? It's just one of those like tricks that it they do to pull you in. That's fantastic. 
fucking love that. Like, like yeah. phone numbers that they give out always have 555. Five, five, I know, it's not a real because one. they don't want you to actually... Is that true? That. I thought everybody in America had the number 555. Five, five. It's because actual dickheads will try and ring the number yeah. and then some yeah. poor bastard will be going, no, this it. isn't where Tom Cruise lives. So that's yeah. that's all the cheat codes in GTA start with 555. Five, five. Oh, oh, you, you put it into the phone. GTA, <laughs> that's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> 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 That's for all the gays that are watching. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just in case. In case. I used to play Grand Theft Auto. And you? just used it to go for a wee drive around. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, there's something about playing like I used to find it so relaxing as a kid. Yeah. Turn but, on, you um, can change the radio and all in it. Yeah, oh my God, all the music, all the 80s music. Oh, it was the Vice now. City one. Yeah. And I would just drive around and it would stop at the traffic lights. So it would be... <laughs> I would then go in. Did you really? Yeah, there was something about that that really I found. And then when I run someone over, it's sort of the game is made. He's stopping. So that, like, people He's will, sorry to give them his number to phone an ambulance. But yeah, people will, will jump in front of you or you'll hit something. They're not even close to your car. It's maybe a glitch and you, you knock them down. It used to upset me. Where like the, the, the name oh, of the game is to, like, is to, is to, to, is to floor people and to rob people yeah. and all the rest. It, I'd love just... Can there's, I there's just a, say, class video. we need to tag in the makers of, P, of um, GTA because games. the person who designed it, I remember going, ha ha, that so, is very it's clever. from Scotland? He once uh, gave an interview where there were people who were asking him very pointed questions about, do you not feel as though you're endorsing um, violence, violence yeah. and bad behaviour and all the rest of it? And he said, well, you don't have to do that when you're buying the game. And they were like, but that's what the game's about. And he went, you can just drive around or you can take a walk. Oh, that's what and I it did. turns out you did. And it turns so out this is the one person the in the fucking world who actually I'm actually sponsored did. by Rockstar there's Games. A, there's a great um, <laughs> video on YouTube where they like, get this LAPD cop. Was this Nudie Astertion or was this? <laughs> uh, this this is <laughs> way <laughs> before Nudie Astertion, like a right. couple of years ago. So it was the, the other day? day. It was the other day. <laughs> 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 and there's, they get this cop on and... Uh, they get her to uh, play GTA and try not to break any laws but then the, there's like a wee tally up in the corner and it's just like they're honing in on every wee law yeah. that she breaks yeah. <laughs> it's like that scene in Liar Liar where the cop stops Jim Kerr and he's like I failed to stop at a, at a stop sign. I took a right turn on a left turn only. And he's giving away everything yeah, every that he's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should actually put that in. The new, the new one's coming out and I really want... I don't know what how you play a game like that anymore, but like what, on what console or if you buy it online or something, I really want it. I well, really, like... I really... I'm scared to, like, uh, lose so much time I know what it. I'm getting you for Christmas. Oh, you sweetie. Uh, but, do you have um, a PlayStation? I would love... Nobody I'm getting get a PlayStation. you a PlayStation. Oh my gosh! She, ever since, ever since she's been this in international, there's one for everybody victim, in the audience. We're have to go yeah. Yeah. And you get a PlayStation. And you, you get, get a PlayStation. PlayStation. Everybody. All our imaginary it. friends in yeah. this room. Well, it's yeah. just it's lucky because um, we often do the big audience giveaways here on Word Up, but um, we don't actually have an audience. The so big it's, guest gets so yeah. me a bun for Sean. This, this is what is Everyone happening. Everyone gets a cruise. We'll have to go onto the uh, zero waste free cycle page and see if yeah. somebody has a PlayStation. Has has anyone got a brand new PlayStation and um, <laughs> a brand new DJ? Leave it with me. Leave it with me. But do you know what I actually had to stop? My my um, sister was living with me at one stage. Well, my, my wee um, stepsister. And uh -huh. she had a PS and she was playing. She had that game. And I had the child at the time. I had wee Barry and I was playing the game. And I realised that I had to put it down and stop playing it because... He was trying to climb on me. And may God strike me dead, this actually did come out of my mouth because it's still passed up at me. Um, hold on a wee minute, son. Mommy's trying to find a hooker. Right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I just went, no, this, uh, I can't. This isn't good. This isn't good. But yeah. I really just wanted, because I heard they were in it, and I was yeah. like, I really want to find a hooker. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I want to avail of the prostitutes. The way that I would play the game is that I would have tried a pretty woman. You know, I pick them up and then we take them for yeah, a meal. Yeah, the opera. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe get them. Get yeah. them a wee bit of money and go, yeah. just get a good night's yeah. sleep, yeah. love. Yeah. You know you don't have to do this. Nice. Huge. Yeah. 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 But you always end up, you always end up robbing them by mistake or something or yeah. murdering them <laughs> next thing you wake up and they're dead yeah. you, know, you know just <laughs> fucking I totally totally next thing you know you're Harvey Weinstein but what have you um, <laughs> do you want to hear the Doherty very oh, much the so. I've been really trying Dort. to not look like 
trying to like I I think um, I can't really I haven't like consciously read it or anything like that. So mm-hmm. it's okay. still a surprise. Well, well actually, actually um He'll I... fess up, you know, we I oh, decided sexual. Well I can at least we can pronounce that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Auto sexual. Auto sexual place. Auto sexual replace. A bit that, more it seems like I would like put that down as like at a guess as like wanking. It is autosexual yes, pleasure. Au- autosexual. <laughs> autosexual is someone who is mainly attracted to themselves and who would <gasps> rather have self pleasure than have. Now, it's not to say that autosexuals won't be in a relationship or have sex with people, but autosexuality is basically um, people who are in a relationship with themselves or love themselves. I was talking to Connor about this beforehand. This when is a fucking setup. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about when I used to have the lovely legs in Australia? I was talking. I was telling Bruno about this, and she set me up. It is. So it is a setup. It is a setup. So I was uh, 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 traveling for years. I was like super. I'm, I'm, I love myself uh, now. You then I actually didn't. Um, but uh, looking back, it's that thing that we were saying. You know, uh, looking back, you don't quite realize how skinny you are, and you don't realize how tanned you are, and how beautiful you were, and all the rest of it. But uh, then I used to. I was really. It was. I was um, cycling a lot, mm-hmm. and I was working a lot. And I was always going around the city. And I had these amazing legs. And I've never really had muscly anything. So I used to have a wank over a few times. It didn't mm-hmm. make a thing of it. Um, but I used to have a wank over my own legs. Yes. Yeah. You're having the chat yeah. with your legs. Yeah. You're like, we can't keep doing this. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's the If I don't stop doing this and somebody catches me, I'll not have a leg to stand like, on. The same, <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, I was... I was, um, I, I, and now I recognise I, I had some sort of sex addiction. I was, uh, it's so closely attached sex to my self worth, mm-hmm. and I was having a lot of it sort of obsessively. Uh, so that was kind of, uh, Your I 20s. imagine, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was probably yeah. part of it. But I remember doing it a few times, and it was, it was very like that. I, I sort of remember thinking, is this. Is this what I, is this what I'm doing now? Like is they're this, nice, but yeah. I'd be in the gym then, Nobody and I'd be doing it. something, you know, on the gym bike or whatever, and I'd be like, oh my god, or like riding through the city, and I'd be like giving myself a semi because of yeah. my own legs, riding, riding, <laughs> which is I'm gonna ride into work. I love, do you know, whenever like, you were telling me that story, there all I could hear in my uh-huh. head was. Dun, 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 dun. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Like it's so oh, in me no. <laughs> not to be like to throw out like a like a, a word or or like say something mean to somebody. Like I now like have such a filter, but at the same time, the other thing of how my brain works is like yourself. My brain is always searching for the word association yeah. thing of like where does the joke come from? Yes. That? So both of those things sort of like fight with each other in my head, and it's just in me to be like. Wanker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pete from Big Brother. Wanker. Yes. Do, you, do you look at your legs like an old ex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sort of look them up. Split. Yeah, I, I look them up and, and I look them and I think, what did I ever see in you? <laughs> we were in there for each other. I look, I catch them in the mirror and I'm like, well, you've got fat now. Yeah. Fuck you. No, I love that. <laughs> More people should be like that because uh, we were chatting. I actually had a different dirty word, and we'll do that for the Patreon. Autosexual. But I actually thought, no, that's a great word because there. I remember reading this book. It was Catelyn Moran, um, How her. to Be a Woman. Love her. Mm-hmm. Fucking brilliant. And she, there was a line in it where it said, "Oh, today I accidentally turned myself on because I grazed." my breast as I was looking in the mirror and I was like yes you yeah. know like the, it just little moments like that that like you can turn yourself on you can be like oh mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking lovely <hair." laughs> I think it's you possibly I mean? like a gay thing and <laughs> like ex-boyfriends I am a gay man people that yeah. exactly so you'll understand but people that I've talked to um you there you you can't I I've did it over my own legs um mm-hmm. but you because you are attracted to uh cocks and you've got one Mm-hmm. Um, you, you can, yeah. you know, you can get yourself off by looking at your own face. Yes. But then the opposite works at the same time. Because I remember once hearing a story where somebody told me that 
people <laughs> that like like straight men who were kind of homophobic. Although I always have a question over if you're homophobic, are you really straight? Mm-hmm. Yes. So we'll just put that out there. Yeah. Sit in the dick. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, how they wouldn't even like wash themselves properly because, uh, or they wouldn't like even associate with their own body mm-hmm. as if it made them uh, be gay. There, no, no, no. Know? We were told this, and I actually we've talked about it this week. Um, and I won't, I won't name and shame the person, um, but they were saying that straight boys, there's a tendency for straight boys to not properly wash. So they're their... walking about with dirty bums? Yeah. Do you know? Sorry, I need to tell a story. I, <laughs> oh thought, I thought that you were going to tell this one because it got back to me and it must be a thing. It must be a thing. A story that I told got back to you? No, but a story that you probably, I thought you were going to tell me this story oh, in yeah. particular. Um. My husband was telling me that there is a guy, and he, him and his brother, I think they might be twins. I don't want to out anybody here. But whatever way it works is it's a known thing in their circle of friends that whenever one of the brothers, they all go away on holiday once a year, and that when he goes on holiday, he has to bring a pair of marigolds. And everybody knows you are joking. that his marigolds are for washing his ass. Why can't you touch your own bum hole? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is just, it's like, like he, wow. he literally brings them, he has them in the shower, he keeps his marigolds in the shower. <laughs> like, just so that he can it. wash his bum. That's mad. That is, that is mad. mad to me. And even, like, even if you're not, like, if you're not uh, putting maybe something up there or you're not touching it or you're not getting some of the liquor, do all of those things. It's great. Mm-hmm. But if you're not doing that, you're still maybe having someone in or around your, 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 um, The your only bits, exception you know. to that, the only thing that if anybody was watching and was just like, oh God, I'm, you know, weird or odd or whatever, is if they maybe experience something like a form of OCD, that mm-hmm. that was something that was like a coping mechanism, mm-hmm. then grand. It may However, be. Oh, yes, 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 yes. However, if it is basically just, if it's based on what we were just saying there, that somebody doesn't even want to touch their own body part because, like... It's gay. They're, they're horrified by it or oh, something like that. Yeah. Or because it's that, like... That, that's oh, the, I the thought maybe what, the dirty bit, but no. No, the, from, the setup from what we were told is yeah. that um, straight boys uh, have a problem with that. And this was uh, from a person... That didn't name them now. Yeah. This is from a person who has uh, has sex with people that would identify as straight, um, but uh-huh. they're also a man. Um, right. Uh, complicated. But um, that often that that isn't uh, uh, something that men do because it is gay. Yeah. So they don't uh, want to touch and even their own bum yeah. hole. Yeah. One of the funniest wow. things I ever read was somebody saying... Personal <laughs> hygiene is for gays. Yeah. Oh, very. Totally. Where they said like, wow, like, <laughs> I'm not gay or anything, but that is such a nice sunset. <laughs> <laughs> ones who can appreciate yeah. the natural beauty of the world. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm, not, I'm not gay or Also anything. women, obviously, you know, yeah. like, you know. It's mad. Like nah. flowers and shit. Quit it. <laughs> like a big fucking woman, Wendy. <laughs> Why shouldn't your own? Do you know, know what I mean? Fucking amazing! Yeah. Imagine that, afraid to tickle your own ass. I know. You'll like, end up in hospital or like yeah. something. Like it's yeah. really no, serious. No, you'll end up in my fucking taxi or sitting next to me on the bus. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. <laughs> Always but end up next to me. So <laughs> no. Do you know what? Is there is somebody recently <laughs> spray painted <laughs> "Smell Your Own." Oh my god! <laughs> oh, where is it? Was it? So it's, it's in a, so it's basically, it's in an under, you know, one of the underpass things. I think it's outside, um, round about the Albert clock, I think. Yeah, and it just says on, right across the ground for everyone in their suits and everything else, walking into work in the morning, it just says, smell your hole. <laughs> Somebody sent it to us and went, was this you? In fact, we won't, we won't say who sent it, but yeah. it was a local politician yeah. who actually does it a lot in and around graffiti and yeah, art and all that kind of stuff. Smelling your hole. But they were like, is this you? Like, no, we were not up at the, in the middle of I just write now. I kind of wish it was now. I, I love it. I know. Maybe we will in future. But no, it's Never not. Never mind. Show some love. I now we're going down the line of that's, that's smell your hole. It's a great brand name, though, for a soap. Yeah. Smell your hole. <laughs> we're going to read you the podcast. Smell it's going to be smell your hole. Smell line. your hole. <laughs> I. We're another World Belfast, and we have a little message to smell your hole. <laughs> And if you can smell your hole, wash smell your, your hole. hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just Curtis actually, whenever he first came over here, because we say hole, yeah. and and obviously in England they don't say that. Like yeah. so, he 
He thought it was a term of endearment when we would say he didn't realise the connotations that come along <laughs> with hold. Yeah. So um no way we would say like up your hold with a big jammer over yeah. there. Yes. Um ah, your your hold's rotten. Um mm-hmm. he was actually act- some hole on. <laughs> <laughs> some hold she's We Annie over there's got some hole. Uh, we Annie's got some hole over there. But Won't he he again. was changing the child's <laughs> nappy before and he was like cleaning his bum. And he went, oh, look. And then he went, yeah, it was just... <laughs> yeah, it was just cleaning, yeah, his wee hole And he... But he said it literally meaning, like, his little hole. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you know, whenever, like, you're cleaning the little... His wee hole. <laughs> but he said it, like, to him. And I went... Did you just say Don't teach he our needs children to, that He needs to clean his wee hole And he went That's, that's what you oh. call it And I went It's so no. Once you shift the context to something, like, it just You don't ch- really weird. tell a child To have to go in and clean their wee hole You know uh, like That's I'm what just, it was and They're just learning They're like Mommy Will you come and wipe my hole <laughs> That's where it was going to end up if he kept that up. He was like, and you're just serving out the brand of biscuits, like. That's what the brand. Yes, nice throwback. I like it. Would you like a penguin or a Twix or a? No, shove it up your hole, mommy. Shove it up your hole, mommy. My hole sore. A piece of a piece of jam roll. Because he was changing, I heard him saying at once, changing the child's nappy. And then whenever he was helping Barry, Barry was being potty trained. He was like, "Just wipe your wee hole." <laughs> <laughs> like, Why are you telling the child to wipe his hole? And he was like, "That's what you call it." He thought he was blending in. And I was like, "That's what adults call it, oh, not oh kids. God. It's a bum." And he was like. Your wee hole. Uh, that is like he, he horrifying and so cute at the same so time. So adorable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bless him. He was like, right. So, he was like, so that's not like what you guys just call your bum. I was like, no, no. that's arse. Yeah, that's your that's arse. arse. Yes. You wipe your wee arse, and even then, don't say no. that to the kids. It's, 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 it's bum. like the vanny. Yeah. Oh. The vanny. Oh, it's the vanny of holes of yeah. um of, oh of um, anuses. It's, yeah, and like the fact, like look at fucking um. <laughs> I was talking about laughing. BBC the other day and like, how come Mrs. Brown's boys? Feck, 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 feck. Feckity feck. Yes. We all know what that means. Yeah. Feck is fuck. But From father's head. But feck is more acceptable yeah. than fuck. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The you. The you really makes that word. <coughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> Dirty, doesn't but it's, it? It's, it becomes much more sort of visceral. You can sort of... Yeah, fuck. You can feel it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Okay, so we're going to save that conversation for the Patreon. Love and if you want to hear, if you want to pick up where we're going with this, um, come over and join the Patreon. In fact, I can tell you it's a cracker <laughs> because we've already had this conversation. Yeah. And uh, um, this is I'm, just, I'm just slicing this on the end. <laughs> but um, yes, thank you so much for, for coming on. Pleasure. Connor and Becky, I fucking love you. Anyone Aww. that's watching, make sure you leave a lovely wee comment. Uh-huh. If there's ever, make sure um, you leave a nice wee comment. Make sure you subscribe yeah. and hopefully, ring the bell. Hopefully I have um, ring the bell end. And <laughs> I, think, I think that I've spelled everything correctly. This week. Stinky Winky. What, what's it called? Stinky Winky? <laughs> Stinky Winky. Stinky Winky can let us know. Can let us yeah, know. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having us. Thank We've you We've loved so much. it as always. We just love hanging out with you. I fucking love it. Just nice being in your wee neighbour's I house. Really yeah. I do. It's not. Uh-huh. Call around for a cup of tea. Yeah. Call around for a wee cup of tea. I know. Uh,